Last night, the 3rd of November 2012, the tennis club in Malahide, County Dublin, hosted a special evening to celebrate the life and achievements of Vincent Caprani, the well-known author, poet and historian of distinct Italian descent. Before the celebration started, we talked to his two sons, Paul and Joe. This is your life night, isn't it, for Vincent? That's right, Concetto, yeah. It's a sort of a culmination of all the work and all he's achieved throughout his life with his writing, with his, uh, his work with trade unionism, his work at the Italian Institute, and his, uh, his paintings. And uh, we just gathered close friends and family around to celebrate it. Yes, how many children are you, in fact? We're three. My oldest sister, who's responsible for organizing right. this. Right, that's Susan. That's Susan. That's right. And myself, Joe, and my yes. younger brother, Paul. And Joe, you talking about the link with Italy. You've been living in Sicily for a while, haven't you? I have indeed. Yes. And I will be returning there within the next couple of years. Uh, to live for good. Yeah, I mean, the Capranis cannot get away from Italy. No, 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 it's a magnet no, that I mean, draws us it, back. It is one of the most admirable stories. Nel cuore really. sempre italiano. Sempre italiano. And your father has been saying that for the last 50 years. Yeah, me. and we really, yeah. we really learned an awful lot of that from Vinny, or Vincenzo, as we often he call him. He kept Italian culture he, alive. Absolutely, and you know, he always spoke to us in a little bit of Italian, and he always made us very aware of Italian uh, culture, and uh, as a result, uh, for every World Cup game, I always shout for Italy over Ireland. In any competition, any sport, rugby, you name it, I'd always shout for Italy over very Ireland. Very good. So tonight promises to be quite a, a night. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Vincent Distinguished press, ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome on this very special gathering this evening, not only to celebrate Vinnie's octogenarian status, but also with Mary and family and friends to celebrate the life and times of Vinnie. Their very best wishes to their very special grandfather. And Vinnie, we now ask you if we take your ease for a few moments as we attempt to take a step back in time to 1838 and to the Lucerna overlooking Lake Como. There we meet your grandfather, Giuseppe Caprani, whose decision to move to Italy, from Italy to England was to shape the Caprani family history. The images you see will be rotated during the night, they're not meant to synchronize, that was far too much for us. He contributed to, to, the, to this. And it is the story of Gopscheid abroad. <laughs> <laughs> and the story goes as, as follows. A friend of mine was boasting about the delights of his first ever vacation in Italy. The historic buildings, the monuments, the food, wine, and the highlight of which was the present of two tickets to a Pavarotti concert in the room. Had you good seats? I asked. The best, right in the center, in the front row, practically touching the toes of the great tenor. So you like Pavarotti? Love him. Then after a brief pause. Still, I'll tell you one thing. The pastor gets very annoyed when you join in in the sing song. <laughs> which has gone around the world, I tell you. Literally around the world. Well, may you live a hundred years more because we need people like you. The prize fighter's prayer. I ask you now for victory, for somehow that seems wrong but only for protection and the courage to be strong. Strength not to conquer. That he has a very unique and so rare a feeling for poetry. Real poetry. in honor Vincent Caprani. I'm absolutely thrilled, honored, and Oh, what a wonderful and popular 
Dr. Robert. Vincent Caprani is. I kind of mooch around a little bit about the tables and I admire the jewelry here and there and admire the beautiful ladies and the handsome gentlemen and all that. I found this several tables were neighbours. I mean, that actually says quite a lot about you. If your neighbours love you,